It's finally here and it's really nice. Hello my friends and how are you doing? Higgsfield is delivering again. Recently I showed you the Soul model. Check out this video here. Today we are checking out the most requested feature and that is consistent characters. So now you have Soul ID where you can train characters on yourself or any kind of other person. And I will show you how it works and if it's good. So the first thing we need here is 20 high quality photos of yourself or the person you want to train, which to be honest was the hardest part for me because as a dude you don't really have that many pictures of yourself. I had to go through the last three years to actually find enough pictures. Also to avoid here, as you can see, no duplicates of course, no group photos with other faces in there, no covering of your face with any kind of masks or paintings or helmets or sunglasses, all that kind of stuff. So the face must be clearly visible and it should be a high quality picture. And then, well, you upload the images and you can train them. So let's upload these images. You can see here, I found a bunch of them for myself. It's all selfies, so let's see, but I'm sure it's gonna work. Let's select all of them and click open. Here you can see the overview of the images I've uploaded. Now this one is a little bit dark here, but maybe it works. I didn't just have more images. It says down here, good, because I have 24 out of 70 images. So you can use even more images of yourself or any other person. And then here it says, excellent image quality on the average and enter the name that you can have down here floral fiesta vibe is that is that about my i guess it's about my hawaii shirts right all right let's keep floral fiesta vibes let's get started here by clicking on generate I have finished training the model and it took about five minutes to train it. And I also trained the same images on Korea, which took about 2.5 minutes there. But uh, keep in mind that this model or this training just came out. So I think a lot of people are right now on their servers trying to create characters and it works really quickly. So let's look at some of these results. Also, let me remind you that the special thing about Soul is that it has all these amazing professional images that have been trained into different LoRa. So these are from fashion shootings, from Instagram or influencer shootings, from professional photography, all these interesting angles, these very nice light setups, these very interesting artistic expressions. And also everything looks very much like actual photos so you can use them professionally. So this is the special thing about Soul to have all of these different LoRa's. First, I have myself here in a tuxedo. Here I look a little bit chubby in that image, so that's not my favorite. But when we look at this result, I feel pretty good about that. It looks better than me in real life, but at the same time it also very much looks like me and it looks like a photo. So you could trick people into thinking that is actually a photo of me. Now when you think you can do this with any old Flux Laura, Maybe, but maybe not because of that setup. So this, for example, here is Flux Korea. And I have to say it also looks good. It does look like me, but it doesn't have this specific setup. And the results are good, but they don't have this kind of artistic professional photo. They are just like random images. Not bad, but not this kind of like glossy fashion magazine style. Also here for the next trick, you have something you can't do with Flux unless you have a lore that's trained like that. This like big hand trick here that is popular on Instagram with the influencers and stuff. And it's also a fun thing to do. Again, the face looks like me. The body, of course, looks strange because of that angle, but the hands look pretty good. And also that iPhone and that coffee, everything here actually looks pretty nice. I couldn't do anything with Korea that comes close to that. So we're going to go to the next shot here. This again is Seoul with ID. The idea here is to copy myself multiple times in this kind of trick shot. Now, I have to say, even though this is really nice, the details are not 100% there in this resolution. So it's pretty good though. And it all of them, all of the characters look like me. They have the same clothing, they have the same face. So that is pretty good. 
Again, when we go back to Korea using Flux, we run into problems. Now the main character here in the middle looks like me, even though he's not wearing a t-shirt as requested in the prompt. However, the other characters in the background maybe look a little bit like me, but then there is also other characters there. And as you can see here, they are just all over the place. So we don't have this kind of like nice artistic composition with this photo trick where everybody is doing different actions in the background so that the shoot actually makes sense. It's a lot of people that kind of look like me, but the face details are not there and often they don't look like me at all. And they don't interact or act in any kind of useful way because Flux just isn't really built for that kind of thing. Again, here we have this shot from Seoul and you can immediately see the difference of basically all of these characters doing something useful in the shot, holding all this kind of tennis racket that is, by the way, completely missing from the other shot and all of them look like me. So that's pretty good. However, I also want to point out that this is very dependent on the ratio of the image because here when we have a 9 by 16, it just doesn't know where to put the characters in that case and it kind of falls apart. Next, here we have another of these amazing trick shots you can only do with Soul. Here I'm sitting on a big giant red handbag. And again, this is trained by the lore. You can also ask for other objects like, for example, a sneaker or a high heel or a boot, anything like that I'm sitting on that it looks realistic it looks like me the body is pretty good the lighting setup is very nice and overall the interaction between me and this really giant bag is really nice to be honest now let's go back again to Korea with flux and here it kind of looks like me, maybe, but my foot is going through the handbag. I'm not really sitting on that because this is such a special action that the training set of Flux hasn't really seen it. You need a Laura for that. Here we have another image where I'm actually sitting on the bag. It kind of looks like me, a little bit chubby, a little bit too round from the head. This one is actually not too bad. Here we have another shot and here I'm sitting next to the bag. And again, it doesn't really look like me in that case. And here we have another one. This maybe looks the most like me. I do sit on a giant handbag, but the strap is going over my shoulder and then just end it, ending in the middle of the air. So again, it doesn't 100% really work. You need to edit this image afterwards in Photoshop to remove that strap. So I'm just sitting on the back or extend that strap, whatever, just to make that work. And here's one more look at the sole image so you can see that it's actually pretty good. Now, of course, as a little bit of fan service, here we have Mr. Lover Lover for you. How do you like them apples? Let's go on to the next image, I would say. So here we have a shot where I sit in the back of a luxury car with this really beautiful Hawaii shirt. It's kind of a fashion shot and it looks really good. The body also very nice, slimmer than I am in real life, but the result is nice. The lighting is nice. It looks like a professional photo. Now when we go back to Korea, it does look like me. The result is not too bad with the same prompt, but I look like the fat rapper Mac Rip. So um, yeah, it's it's... Yeah, I don't know. This one is pretty cool, but I'm why am I so fat in these shots? I don't understand. Like it's Mac Chopsters here. I don't know what's going on. Even though it kind of works, maybe the prompt has to be refined for that for me to be slimmer. And also the car is often breaking down like here. I'm driving around in a lazy boy chair or something like that. I'm not quite sure. Now here I'm going to show you this shot and that was kind of shocking to me. It's this kind of like trashy, punky fashion shot. Pretty cool, pretty stylish, interesting light. Everything is there. But the most shocking thing for me was this is kind of what I looked like when I was younger. I was maybe never that bony, never that slim. But look at that. This is a photo of me when I was a student and it kind of, isn't it kind of similar? Like the young face and everything, I, I think like, yeah. And look how much hair I had back then. Holy moly. But I was really surprised by that shot. By the way, the prompt also says the shirt should say bones of marrow and it actually does. And that's also pretty cool. 
Another shot I want to show you here is of this beautiful guy here in a silver jumpsuit. Let me know if I should get a silver jumpsuit. Um, I think it looks pretty amazing. Again, the lighting is there with the flashlight from the front. It's kind of this like Sisley style of flash for fashion shooting. Pretty nice. Let's go back to Korea here and it also is not too bad. I like that the lighting is coming from this Asian kind of machine here for snacks and it has my signature pose like this so that's pretty cool I do this in every like selfie that I do so actually also pretty good not as stylish maybe from the light not like a real fashion shot or something but still pretty nice and here we have another shot I actually really like a lot and again you could think that this is a photo of me being on a trip to Italy so you can really become a fake virtual AI influencer with that and put yourself into all kinds of situation. Now, one thing I want to point out here that's pretty important is look on how I'm holding the wine glass with two fingers ready to drink close to my mouth, but then looking to the camera for that candid shot. So that is pretty cool that this action and interaction between me and the glass is happening like that, but also that the vine in the glass has the right angle. Now can we go back to Korea with Flux and Mac Chubsters is back uh, doing his wild thing. Now it's not too bad like maybe this looks like me or maybe maybe this looks like me I guess but it's it doesn't have the same kind of style you know it's not this kind of like cool wow this guy like here I'm drinking the wine with my nose maybe I'm sniffing it not quite sure but none of these images even though they look like me and the light is good and everything about them is good have this kind of like oh that's a cool influencer guy I want to follow him kind of expression but when you look at this shot in comparison, everything, the pose, the face expression, the way he holds the wine, everything says, hey, this dude is relaxed. He has a good life. He is enjoying his day and he's right in the moment. All of this is a story and it's expressive. What is important and that is what is important about a good picture, right? So overall, by no means do I want to say that Flux is bad or Korea does the wrong thing. That is not what this is about. What this is about is the specialty of Seoul to have all these Loras that are specifically trained for this kind of like expressive, emotional fashion advertisement influence a style that is very artistic, expressive and high quality so that you can use it in these purposes. That is what it's made for specifically and this is why it is working so well. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Bye!